Hi, my name is Israel Santana, but you can call me Izzy. And a little bit about myself is that I began this journey of becoming a software engineer on February 1st of this year. And I set myself a personal goal that as for my first personal project, I wanted to create a full stack application. And I was going to make sure that in the process, I was going to learn all the tools needed in order to achieve that goal. Something that I was told from the very beginning was that one of the best things is to learn in this craft is to build projects and if you are able to build something about a particular thing that you are interested in is even better so that's why i made the decision of as for my first project i wanted it to be about the nissan brand since it's my favorite vehicle brand and i actually own one myself i own a rogue so what better way to get into this amazing world of tech by doing a project about a brand that i love and i actually use which is nissan so without further ado, let me give you guys a tour about my project. The name of the project is called Nissan Experience and I'm using React for the front end, Tailwind CSS for the styling, Node and Express for the server, PostgreSQL for the database, and I also gave uh, an addition of Stripe to give a simulated payment method for the application. This is the repo in case you would like to see it. Now this is the project, it's called Nissan Experience. And as you can see, is uh, it gives the user the ability to go into the site, get access to all the vehicles that Nissan has to offer, and to be able to make a purchase based on these details that they receive. So when you first come into the homepage, you're able to see, for example, the Nissan Rogue, but you're also able to see the different categories that the website has to offer. You got cars, trucks, sports, electrics. Now, I took inspiration from the website of Nissan. So when you click these thumbnails, the website changes. But not only that, I make sure that the website is responsive. So when the user, if he or she is not using a desktop, it responds in the, on a mobile version. And based on the screen, the responsiveness will follow. As you can see, it doesn't matter the vehicle, it will follow. Another thing that I make sure is that you're able to use and see every vehicle. So everything is responsive and responds properly, both the thumbnails as well as the, the different categories that Nissan has to offer. So once the user has seen some of the vehicles made by the thumbnail, they have the option to explore the vehicles that Nissan has to offer, which in total are 15 however there are two vehicles which is the leaf and the area which belong to the uh one belongs to the crossover and suvs but also the electric uh, vehicles and the leaf which belongs to the car category but also the electric um, category so here you won't see 17 you will see 15 vehicles so as you can see you have this amazing grid and it gives you basic information of the of the vehicle it gives you an image it gives you the price and the trim and of course we make sure the website is, re is responsive and make sure that the user whether it's on desktop or mobile he or she has access to a good responsive website so now let's say the user um likes a vehicle but would like to get more details well i'm providing a details button that doesn't matter the vehicle let's say we want to see the frontier so the moment that user clicks details it automatically takes the user to a page dedicated for that vehicle chosen and in the process of it it gives you an overview of the vehicle it gives you some images performance it gives you features specifications and we also make sure as always we always have to make sure that the website is responsive for the user so it doesn't matter the screen size the user always gets this experience so as you can see here, it responds based on the different sizes and it keeps the structure and the integrity of the site. So now let's say the user wants to make a purchase. So I'm providing here an automatic button that will change based on the vehicle. So let's say it, here it says Frontier, but if we go and check, I don't know, let's say the kick, this will automatically update and it will give you the same thing. All this information is being fetched from my database and a PostgreSQL database and 
if the user clicks to purchase the vehicle, it takes them automatically to our checkout component and it gives you the basic information, the model, the category, the trim, the quantity, and the price. But I also make sure to add a disclaimer because I want to make sure that whoever sees this website understands that this is a project for educational purposes and I'm not endorsed by any means by Nissan. I also, to add some more legitimacy, I added a Lego website in terms of use, a copyright trademark, and again we make sure that the website is responsive so as we check the website automatically responds based on the different viewports of the screen so now let's say the user wants to use and wants to make a purchase well we have the checkout page which connects to the stripe api and what the stripe api does it takes you immediately to currently is on test mode because it's not a real purchase but it shows you immediately the logo of Nissan the vehicle in question the price and the category so as you can see if you go back you get to the same page and it does not matter the vehicle if you check for rogue it gives you the same it will update that information and when you click and go to the stripe API this will show it here so for the payment method is something very straightforward you will add the test you will put easy fake address 10 the city we can put New York 10 and 10 and since it's a test mode stripe the stripe API oops, almost forget it provides you with a fake card so you can test it so this is one of the, the fake uh, numbers that they give you so you can utilize it onto your application. And then when you test it, once you press play, uh, press play pay, <laughs> um, it processes it. And what it does, it takes you back to the home page. Now you ask why there's not a, a receipt. The reason for not being able to get a receipt is because it, since it's on test mode, the Stripe API won't let you have it. However, as you can see here, it went through the the connection and see that it says August 6 2024 1121 which is the time that we make the purchase so it shows that our payment actually went through and you see it gets the name the category the price and if you go down here you'll see the receipt and as you can see it does create a, a receipt however since it's on test mode I'm not actually able to send it so this is an email and if I try to send it, it won't let me. Why? Because it's on test mode. So going back into the site, another thing that I added into the site was an about page. I think it's very important for an application to have uh, an about. So it gives you some information and details about the website in question. So I created this uh, page and added some basic information about Nissan, the origins. I added as well some images and like always we always make sure it's responsive for the user on mobile that way he or she gets the the experience of the website no matter the screen size another thing that i added and one thing that i want to emphasize if you press this by nissan it just takes you back to the home page so that's what it does just in case you're another an about page so the following thing that i want to show you is the contact us every website has a contact page which makes the connection between the client the user and management of a company more connected so I created this form and as as you can see we always make sure it's responsive no matter the screen size that way the user has the ability to con contact and reach out to Nissan as a brand so if you put here Israel Santana fake email fake at email.com contact phone 333 location let's say Brooklyn are you a Nissan owner yes or no I do you do you have any questions other I like to know about the Pathfinder the moment the user clicks submit button it takes you back to the home component to the home page but it shows you a notification letting the user know that the form was submitted so that's currently the the entire website 
I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Um, again, this is the repository of the project. It has all the source code, everything that is needed. And I also added a readme page, which goes a little bit more in detail about the technology, how it looks, about the key features, the tech stack, the installation and setup. I also add information on how the schema of the database came about to connect it into my application. It also has the project dependencies, that way it shows uh, whoever is interested in knowing what was added into the site or, or how it was made and what was used to make it. But other than that, this is the website. I really hope that you like what you saw. And if you have any questions or concerns, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. And this is my personal account on GitHub. And yeah, that's all I have to offer. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.